this is a demonstration of an irrigation of a Foley cath. We would do the irrigation when we have had problems with the catheter, maybe we're changing it too frequently, there's sediment in it, and this saves us from having to reinsert and the potential for infection for our client. On a routine basis, we generally do not do catheter irrigations. I have my equipment set up, I've done my standard steps, introduced myself, identified my patient. Um, I have my patient draped, I'm going to expose as little as I need to of my patient. Um, I've got my irrigation tray, my solution, the physician has ordered in this case um, sodium chloride for the irrigation, sometimes sterile water is or ordered also. Check my expiration date and be sure I have the right um, solution. Sometimes the solution will come right in your kit. So my concern, I am going to keep the um, urinary tubing sterile and it is a sterile procedure although I am wearing clean gloves in order to do this and it will become apparent that I really don't need sterile gloves when I do this procedure as we do it. So if I have uh, to do perineal care at this point in time, I will go ahead and do that as uh, part of a precursor to this procedure. Um, otherwise, I'm going to loosen the top on my bottle, palm the label, and lift the solution. Uh, and then I'm going to open up my irrigation tray, and I want to keep this sterile. And this um, kit has a sterile drape in it. I have a chucks underneath uh, my patient already to, in order to protect the bedding and so I'm going to use this um, sterile drape for a different person purpose than laying it down and I'm going to put it right down here for now keeping that all in sterile inside um, and then this will be just like you do, you do your dressing change this will come out and I'm going to put my tray I'm not going to handle or touch the rim of this at all so that it's sterile right there and I am going to pour my solution uh, and I'm probably going to use all that I have in the bottle I'm going to pour that all right into the um, right into the container my sterile container and when I put my bulb syringe back in I'm going to squeeze um, so I'm ready I have it loaded in order to do the irrigation um, generally the physician will order a 50 to 60 mil irrigation and that doesn't mean that's all we use for the irrigation it just means at any one time we're only using 50 or 60 mils but I would suggest that you're probably going to use all of this and if you know ahead of time about this irrigation you may even need another um, more sterile liquid so now I will um, uh, loosen my catheter strap and I am going to um, take an alcohol swab and cleanse the connection between my drainage tube and the catheter. I'm going to lay that in the bed because I don't want the patient laying on that. And I, I use generally, so really good scrubbing there and then I'm going to clear uh, clean this little pigtail which was for insertion of the liquid into the balloon because uh, sometimes it flops back. Um, now I will disconnect this and now my challenge is getting this apart for the first time. And These are the two ends that I want to, I do not want to contaminate these two ends. If you have a sterile cap cover this with a sterile pad. You can hold it right like this and not contaminate that and get your fingers so that you can clamp and clamp the tube. Or I've got a sterile piece of um, drape right here and I can put this right into the sterile part of that drape and um, put it someplace. This patient's not moving so I can tuck it right underneath the leg. It just gives me a free hand. but. I, when you're practicing, I would practice holding them both in your hand. Um, we do not have any sterile caps for you to use. So I have this clamped because I don't want urine draining out. And so I'm going to bring my solution over, put this in, unclamp, squeeze my solution in, and I'm going to 
simulate that at this point in time because we don't want to fill our mannequins up with water. When I take this, after I've squeezed my um, solution in, I'm going to clamp it again, take this out, refill my syringe, and let this drain into this sterile container. It will not all drain out at one time. In fact, sometimes when you leave this situation, you will be aware that it all hasn't drained out, but most of it will come. And I'm observing what's coming out of here. Is it clear? Is there a lot of sediment? Um, so I'm going to reload, clamp again, insert my fluid, clamp when I take it out, and then release to let the urine drain. So once I've used all of my fluid and I'm draining relatively clear, or although there will be times when it will not drain all clear, but at least you have, and what you're doing with this irrigation has nothing really to do with the bladder so much as it does to, has to do with the lumens of the catheter. The catheter irrigation is for uh, uh, freeing sediment from the openings of the lumens of this catheter, keeping them open so that the, the uh, urine will drain. Now I'm going to alcohol swab this since I was working with that part of the catheter and then I've kept this sterile. I do not need to alcohol this so why add any more to it and I will reconnect. Um, I probably will be sure that this airy peri area is clean and dry um, before I leave the patient, um, get her covered up. And now I am going to measure what I have in here because I will have both um, urine and my um, solution that I've used to irrigate with. I will subtract my solution that I've used to irrigate with and then that will become part of the out, output, intake and output, output um, for the urine to add to the intake and output record. I'm going to discard this. Was there any? Okay, we're at the end then. Just kind of checking. It seemed like I was missing something clean up. Oh, I know what I wanted to tell you. What is your patient's response to this um, procedure? Your patient's response to this procedure is uh, we can use a mental response. The patient telling us it didn't hurt at all. In this case, Miss Nightingale did not, did not move. She showed us non -verbal, no nonverbal behaviors at this. Um, was uh, concerning her at all. My biggest response is, what did this urine look like when I irrigated? Did I have sediment? Did I have mucus? Did it irrigate clear? Did it irrigate freely when I did it? That is my client's response. Okay, I think that's it.